Hey everyone, James Chapman, Chapman Insurance Group. Today I want to give you a few quick tips if you own a rental property. Uh, see a lot of that out there where it's kind of uh, maybe building towards retirement, maybe a property that you've inherited, um, or just kind of a little side project, maybe not your main uh, focal point for business or income. There's a couple of different ways to do rental properties. And look, if you set them up, you may not have it set up correct, and it is exposure for you. So I wanted to run through a quick tips with you on this. Uh, when it comes to rental properties, you have two ways of insuring it. You can insure it on your personal side or commercial insurance. Uh, depends on the situation. I've recommended both for depending on the client's situation. Usually if we get above uh, three to four rental properties, I'll start suggesting commercial. Um, on the, the other reason we may suggest commercial is if someone has it insured or has it in an LLC or a company name. Um, some of the benefits either way, personal, usually if you have just one, you can bulk it in with your home and auto policy. It extends some liability over, very simple policy, provides adequate protection. The benefits of the commercial side is as you're, if you're planning to grow and you're adding more, at certain number of units, you can actually start getting some price breaks. The other convenience with that is you can keep bulking it up. I've had clients with as many of a, as a hundred rental properties on one policy. So every time you buy one, you don't have to go buy a new policy. You just call add it on to the current one. Your billing difference, your bill reflects differently the following month. Very easy, very straightforward. This usually has a little better per liability protection, and it's built much more for a business mindset. Uh, business income, loss of business income, just how some of the coverages work compared to the personal side. Both work in different situations. I will tell you though, if you have above four rental properties and you still have it on a personal side and they're all insured under the same name, definitely worth getting a comparison to the commercial side. Could save you some money and even if the cost was exactly the same, the commercial should be a better setup for you. Uh, I do recommend if you have a rental property, uh, an umbrella, either way, personal or commercial. Uh, the beauty on the commercial one is, uh, once again, is you can link the commercial umbrella in right with it. It's all one bill, pays for everything. Properties, liability, umbrella, all that stuff included. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention, your tenants. Hey, you rent a property, it's, you have a contract with somebody renting from you. You need to make sure you specify that they must carry renter's insurance. And when they carry low renter's insurance, you want to make sure they list you as a loss payee. That's massive, all right? Your tenant has a claim that damages your property, okay? They're liable. If they have renter's insurance, the liability from the renter's insurance policy should take care of the claim, okay? Keeps you from just having to file against your policy and taking a loss to your policy and not being able to recoup it. This is huge, make sure you have this. Also, when you're listed as a loss payee, if they let their insurance cancel, you get notification. They renew, you get notification. Keeps you in the loop of what they're doing and making sure they are paying and keeping a policy. Uh, last couple things with tips. Bulk those policies together. Um, it's, it's very rare that you can't save money by bringing your policies together. Even if you're doing it all on the personal side, or like I say with the commercial, uh, love the fact of how the commercial works. It's just a much cleaner policy. So if you haven't priced that yet, I do have people on the commercial side with just one rental property. If you haven't priced that yet, I recommend get with your local advisor, speak to them. You're always more than welcome to give us a call. Uh, you can find us at chapmaninsurancegrp.com. Thank you.